the, don't you <laughs> dare drop the term hostile work environment in our current political climate. <laughs> you have some nerve. Y- y'all, let me tell y'all something. Bob, first of all, so I'm sure y'all have seen up to now, right to this point, Bob's fucking, Bob's in his drone era. He is obsessed oh, with this listen, fucking drone shit. A big part of my personality is having a drone. And you guys have to just get into it. And when, you know, when you need some drone footage, don't come to me since you can, since you're so smart, since you know everything, <laughs> you got your fucking degree. Don't, don't come to me when I you need drone footage. I'm shooting a video or something and I need drones. I'm going to come to you to film it for me as opposed to the director of photography who actually does this skill and who's has... the director? Who is, who I am the director of photography. I am the DP. You're not, the, um, not of my stuff. I would, you first of all, you couldn't afford me. <laughs> let's make, let's make I one thing. I want you. Okay. Let's make one thing perfectly just like, clear. Just like my birth mother, I don't want you. Okay. <laughs> mother, June <laughs> listens. June listens to the podcast. June, I'm so sorry. I know. I know you're working on yourself. I know you're working on yourself. <laughs> you think June has a friend? Has a gay friend who sends her every time we talk about her on the well, podcast? You know, she was gay for a little while. She had a girlfriend for a while, and then she stopped. So maybe I don't know. But sometimes let's get to getting down with the gays because gays can be a lot. So who knows? I don't know. So I have a drone now, and uh, so a big part of droning. Well, I have a drone now, <laughs> and a big part of droning is you have to be comfortable flying the drone, literally like out of your field of vision, which is terrifying because you're you're like piloting this thing, but you can't see it. So it's got like a little monitor so t- on it. There, there, there's a whole camera on it. Oh. No, I'm but, saying, but on but your you on your thingy. No, I'm looking at. The, I'm just looking at the camera, and there, oh, there's a little radar Got too, kind of like it, like like when you're playing like Fortnite or right. or Zelda or something. There's a little map of the actual city, and then you're just looking at this drone footage. But the drone is so tiny; it has occurred to me several times. I could have been being droned this whole time. I flew the drone from my house to a friend's house, which is about half a mile away. That's wild. And you don't get like, what if you get like hit something or? I did, and I did. I hope I tried to. I tried to get some drone footage of Assad because Assad is. Uh, by the way, we are going to review the episode. I tried to get some drone footage of uh, my friend Assad, who's one of my one of my oldest friends, actually. Well, oh, also congratulations well, yeah. to him. He just got his green card. Congratulations, Assad. Yeah. We love Asad you so much. Assad got his green card. So Assad. Uh, also, I don't know, but be, but being American now, I mean, if you would have got it ten years ago, <laughs> damn, timing is shit, Assad. <laughs> damn. Um. No, but um, Assad. Um. He's, he's, he's directed so many of my music videos. And I was like, for your birthday, I'm going to get a great shot of you. you gotten so many great shots of me. I'm going get to get a great shot of you. I was going to p- pilot the, the, the drone above him while he was in the pool and get a really cool TikTok shot and send it to him. Tell me why my drone immediately, I immediately crashed into a group of women. The drone was just floating. Then, then you just hear, ah! And then the drone crashes into a group of women. And I was like, and then me, Jacob, and Mikey just le- left the party immediately. So anytime I see someone with someone drone crashes, pieces go flying, plastic is flying everywhere, blades are going everywhere. Did yours break? No, no, my, mine. It was like it was like a, it was maybe two feet off the ground. That's the thing. Like they seem so, but it, it's, it's. I'm like, is this a drone or Faberge egg? Every time I see a drone crash, it is done. Like you gotta get a new one. Well, money, they're falling from uh, like 60, 70 meters in the sky. So. What, what do you think? It's not a black box in the airplane. <laughs> I, I know what I'm saying. It's se- and they're so expensive. It seems like a very risky investment because I I there, I always see footages of uh, people drones crashing all the time. I'll do when you get your place. I'll do some drone footage for you to send to your family, uh-huh. in St. Lucia, so they can so they can for, so they can get. I'll I'll do the footage of your home for you to send to your family in St. Lucia. Also, get your roof done because oh, I, I realize my drone. I realize with Joni, y- y'all roofs look ugly as hell. The, the side of the house be looking great. Y'all, y'all have forgot that we did, we, that there's a roof. Anyway, we are reviewing um season one, episode two of RuPaul's Drag Race. Money, how does it feel to be back in the um uh, the wild world? Of, like you're 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 this is a, the way back machine, honey. I will say this: Drag Race season one is kind of everything. I was so good. It's so good. Y'all, realty, I was coming in expecting to be like, this shit is whack. Like, ugh. Like, I just, I, I, I was prepared to have to hate watch this. It is so good. It's so good. So this is also the reason why, um, why uh, I was just obsessed with this. Like, this is why I got hooked on this show. Season one is, is honestly, kind of, it's, it's kind of a perfect season. It really is a really, really, it's good, really season. good season. The, the, the episode, the casting was great. And a half long. The ep- uh, there are only like nine girls. Like, honestly, 
Take it back. So at the top of the episode, I forgot that they had that hotel footage. The, the, the very top of the episode, I was like, imagine if they imagine if a camera crew would have came to your hotel room. I know, which I think this happened. Right? And, they, and they were like, they were like, Namone, fake, fake like you're waking up. This probably, I think this happened well into season two or three. I know the death happened season two. I remember shots of Raven. I remember seeing Raven like in her bathroom, like doing her morning thing when I began my obsession with Raven. Um, so I know they definitely did in season two. I don't remember three though. If I did it, I'd be like, I'm only y'all do it if y'all either get a footage of me taking a shit or or uh, picking picking my toe, clipping my toenails. I want the clip of me picking my toe, clipping my toenails, taking a shit, or uh, <laughs> you know, I, or I'd have one of those um, you know, those conspiracy theory charts. It'd be a it'd be a picture of the girls with with strings ribbon, going all goes to each one. <laughs> <laughs> like you want to like like putting, fucking putting my face. final pin like. <laughs> and then putting on my shoes <laughs> yep, and y'all know bob bob is so extra bob will literally do it just to get the footage on camera oh the footage is honey um so we, we can hop straight to them because the, there's not much in the fallout of course uh victoria park park just went home and akasha has uh saved herself uh-huh. you know what i mean um, and now pink. And now we have the mini challenge uh where they're taking these selfies the 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 this digital this camera is, is First of all, they took these these selfies and then they're looking on the computer. You know they had to stop down production for Bitch. 45 minutes to Hello. collect each memory card yeah. and then put the memory card inside cuz there you, there was no memory card reading the computer. Yeah. So they put the memory card on a on a floppy disk. <laughs> but that's the thing. It took them forever. But I was like, "Oh my god, digital cameras. Remember di- remember when digital cameras came out? We were like, "Oh my god, this is the new frontier. What? We can take a picture and see it in real time? This is crazy." I have a digital I have a digital camera. Yeah. Well, I mean, this was uh, like one of the OG models. Yours is a very nice. One. Yeah, no. Wow. Well, I'm, well, I'm flexing your wealth. Some of us can't afford nice cameras like that. Calm down. Okay, first, this is this is for uh, content creation. Mm-hmm. Just because you're there, just because you're there filming on your BlackBerry, and some of us take our jobs very seriously, honey. Turn turn the camera around. Let them see. Look 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 at the production by the goes on here at uh, Bob the Drag Queen Studios. Turn your camera around. Let First of all, I'm on, on the honey. road, and you know that on the road, our setups are not as elaborate as as our setups at home. So stop trying it. Well, then go home and do it. Go home now. Go home. Go, go to bed. I'm go sorry. to the, go to the I'm bathroom. Run and getting run five high. star reviews at my show and with the motherfucking Fringe Festival, honey. Out of ten stars, let's uh, <laughs> you continue. <win> <laughs> He's so rude. You, you forgot to say how many stars you could so get. Rude. You forgot to say the amount of stars. <laughs> Angina <laughs> uh, is announced as a winner. Then Rue announces a twist. And we're like, there's two. Akasha also wins um, the mini challenge because she wasn't afraid to be like, it was uh, the prompt was, um, Cher, Cher is going on another tour or whatever it is. No, Cher, Cher finally retired. Cher retired. And Akasha was happy. And Rue, that really tickled Rue. Odd take, but go off. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like, well, um, but but I do think it was I do think it was funny. A fun take, and Rue Rue loves someone who has uh it nerve, and it do take it do take nerve yeah. to to say you you don't care for share in front of RuPaul. Um, but also, so what they they start picking their groups. Why did Tammy Brown say I'm with the black girl? Okay, I wrote that down too, and I don't think it came from a malicious. I think it came from a very sweet place. I, like I'm I'm with the black girls. Like work. But it was as if the group was there. There are, there are only two black girls. This is as if the group was. It was like black girls and Tammy. It was right. just Akasha BB, and then also later on she calls BB her little African. I know my little African. I wrote that down. My little African something. Oh, I wrote it down too. I wrote down. I wrote down I, 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 my little African chair. I was, I was like, <laughs> what is? happening and again i think a lot of this is endearing i don't think she's meaning like uh we should ask bb if it was endearing because bb looked a little annoyed bb was like when she's when she was trying to bb was like oh no i i I think i think on tammy's part is well-intentioned but to hear it is upsetting like if someone called me the little african cherry no matter how sweet how nice they meant it to be i'm like don't say that to me bitch well how do you feel about being called my little saint lucian cherry i like that because because um saint lucian is not a race Africa's not a race. I know. <laughs> but w- so what was because that compared- I think what that was you that were comparison? trying to be like, oh, like that you were trying to come for me or something. That's not what I was doing. I was saying because BB's born in Africa and you were not born on the continent. Okay, Africa. so, well, about, so I'm assuming a guy uh, 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 come over here, my little um uh, um American cherry pie. Georgia Pe- jo- well, I don't want that. You can call me a Georgia peach. Um, but I think the difference is because BB is born in the on the continent Africa in the country Cameroon. Um, but also 
it's really interesting the way that you're well i guess north america just doesn't have a uh group identity the way that other continents do like europe asia specifically europe asia and africa have a um not from the from the from the american viewpoint we're like oh there's like a vibe an african vibe a european vibe and an asian vibe right but there isn't a north american vibe like i feel like the, the for, australia for, but too. That's, that's probably well there's, there's there's only one country in australia right yeah um but there's lots of countries in the other continents true true Although, and i feel like uh when people say asian they don't mean they don't mean russia though they're not, they're not including russia in that which Russia or is. or the middle east they don't they don't mean dubai right they don't mean they don't mean Pakistan, right. you know right. what I mean. So that is that is interesting. I don't, I don't know know where I was going with that, but it's just <laughs> interesting because. Well, I feel like because Americans, but maybe it's because we're here and I have a more nuanced take. I'm sure someone from South Africa and someone from Ethiopia would be like, "Baby, we're not the same." Yeah, like it's giving here and it's giving there. Ethiopia and South Africa are so far apart, whereas America and Mexico are close. But also, we do have a lot of similarities. America, and Mexico, you, you, the U.S. And, Mex- and Mexico have like a lot of similarities. But also, when you say American, you realize you should. We're also in in, in theory talking about Canadians too. But they, they well, that's why I, that's why I said the U.S. Well, well, Canadians are not. They are Americans. They are on the continent of, of North America. But I, I think that American colloquially, colloquially is, 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 is used for people who live in the United States of America. Because if you live in South America, people don't call them Americans. Right. I'm saying, well, even, I'm saying, even, even South, though they're... South Americans, I've, I found this out recently, have contention with that. When, when people say, I'm American, they're like, well, bitch, we're American too. Like, we're South American. Like, they're like, you need to, you need to clarify. Like, I heard that, that's a whole thing too. Interesting. Yeah. Anyway, back to that subject at hand. Um, so in the girl groups, uh, when when they say when RuPaul's like, you, I hate on t- reality TV shows. It happened last episode. It happened this episode. When people run toward one thing, when girls run toward the pile to get fabric, when and they're and uh, and Akasha and Angina are running to these songs, and Angina is on Akasha's back, the, stress. Well, it's Rue set it up. The pressure is getting worse. Rue set it up that way, and I think they wanted this. And I'm like, Akasha's right. Like, I'm like, bitch, because then, because then she gonna have she gonna she, she gonna have on trying to pull a Bob the drag queen and be like, well, you get the b- 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 and fucking um the art thing. The what you call, uh, what you call it? Uh, somebody mentioned art. You- you mean you mean using my uh, brains instead of my brawn? Yeah, use your brawn. I'm all about brawn. No, a- call me call me call me a brawny man. This is something me and Monet uh, run, run into a lot. Monet will be Monet and a lot, not just Monet, but a lot of my friends will be trying to like figure something out, and they'll be like, "Ugh, ugh," and I'll be like, "You have a finesse. It. You, you're trying to you're trying to use all your good good. Gu- just give it a little wiggle, 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 and the cap will come off." What are you talking about? When Monet be? Yeah, tra- can, can you give an example? Thank you, thank you, Jacob. Please. It'll 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 be like Monet trying to open something. Monet will be trying to open up a thing, and she'll be like, and she'll be like, "Ugh." Uh, and I'd be like, no, no, no. If you just like give it a little, wh- like a little, Bob, boop, boop, that has boop, literally boop, it'll, it'll never open. happened. I believe it has. Jacob, thank you, Jacob. And I like how because see, yeah, so see now, that's why sometimes I like to sneak a little work. It has happened. That's how I like to sneak a little work. And Jacob, Jacob, y'all, y'all heard all the shade in what Jacob said. Jacob, Jacob like, didn't prove. Jacob did not prove anything. Jacob, yeah, see, because that well, you, you know what Jacob is. Never Jacob happened. Is, you know what Jacob is. Jacob is triggered because you and him are both in this little in this little in this little uh thinking that you can just go around the world being brawling. Yeah, yeah, y- y'all know Jacob, brawling Jacob, Jacob trying to strong muscle everything open. That's Jacob. First of all, Jacob's been going to the gym nonstop for over a year now. Don't ever undermine my my boyfriend's work. Okay? And again, for the record, if you keep talking shit, I'm gonna send Jacob over to whoop Andy's. Ass. <laughs> oh my god y'all okay first of all it is 9 a.m bob's time this is a lot of energy for bob the drag queen before 10 a.m i am gagged right now <laughs> i woke up at seven i woke up at seven in the morning for what i like to watch that i like to watch the episode but right before i don't like to watch it last night i watch it right before i like to watch well. it right before um and i'm also also waking up early as a part of drone culture when you you, you want to catch the sunrise you want, oh it's my part god of, you wouldn't you wouldn't get it it's part of it's part of drone it's part of being a pilot we call ourselves pilots let me say this. I can't, y'all, I cannot go on with this for the next couple of months. It's going to drive me insane. Uh, from day one, though. Don't ever, don't ask me for any footage. <laughs> don't ask me for any, don't ever ask me to bring my drone by for in, literally anything. I will not. I promise. And when I, I and, and when I bring my drone, step out of the shot. <laughs> and because it has a huge w- w- range of footage, you have to go a mile down the road. Because I also see how this is going to happen. All, all, all the crew is going to get together and Bob's going to bring his drone it's for us all to get a picture together or a video together. Bob's like, Jack. and you're going to step out of the <laughs> I will. I'm gonna step off the picture and do my own selfie. Like, 
<laughs> yeah. Monet, oh, this is not sibling rivalry. We need to get back to the episode. So, uh, Tammy felt like she could not get okay. Tammy, there are Tammy felt like she couldn't get any input in because the, the because the BB was like, <laughs> BB was like. Anyway, I like your idea, Kasha. <laughs> well, Tammy's a little kooky. And I think, in, you know, this is a, a, a trope we see throughout reality TV, whether it's um, at this in, in this era, whether it was top model or big, whatever it is, you kind of always have, like, when you're the group leader, is the balance of making decisions so that when the group gets judged, you shine as opposed to you, as opposed to you being the reason that the group sucked. So it's like that, it's like, it's a balancing act of that. And honestly, I have to say, the way that drag race is doing this i want to bring this back like bitch F- chanel is making fucking face charts uh, they're giving amina um, actual like wigs to like tease into something i will say the only unfair thing is getting one person to make four outfits that is that seems completely unfair yeah i was beside myself with the first of all i was gagged at the difference between chanel out here doing like making full face charts and then akasha being like you're gonna do blue you're gonna do brown <laughs> you're gonna do peak <laughs> like i was like i mean because she did put it on the chart but it was kind of like I, I just felt like like chanel was like and each of you is gonna put gonna you gonna bring this up you're gonna put a stone here and stone here everyone has to put the stone in these places and and and, and Kasha was like just just like do a uh like a like a blah 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 <laughs> But I mean, imagine if you if if, if draggers did like imagine that this past season of when they did group challenges, the girls had to do that again. Imagine, honestly, yeah. Imagine if you were in the group with the Mister Isabel Brooks and everyone comes out looking like <laughs> looking, everyone comes out with the mistress mug. I mean, but it would be a, it would be it would be kind of fierce. I'm like drag race, kind of bring that back. I, I like that. It, it is. I do like. Let's do it. Let's do a mistress mug challenge. You and I Ooh, see who can paint the most I'm like down. mistresses. I'll come over. To you know who actually did a, a, you know who did a good job. You know who did a good job painting like mistress. Who? Uh, little straighty. What's 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 her name? Uh, Maddie, Maddie Morphosis. Maddie Morphosis. Morphosis. <laughs> Maddie's YouTube. Maddie's little interviews are actually Maddie's She's very, very funny. Quick. She's very quick. Yeah, good. I don't know where there was a drag. <laughs> I want to go on her little show. She ain't never asked me to go on her little show. But you got to be in drag. She does not. She she don't have no half ass shit, honey. Oh, really? You got to be in drag, drag to go on there. I, I I don't know. I don't know that. But everyone everyone's in drag. I don't know that's true. I I just said that without I any would, proof would, of it being right. If, if I was geared for a gig and we could schedule it like before, I would I would get in drag to do. It. I'm not I'm not supposed to get in drag. Bob, I like getting in drag. Oh my god. Monet. Well, why aren't you in drag right now for our review show? <laughs> because that's not a precedent we set on the Yeah, hey, I thought you liked it. I thought you liked it so much. <laughs> since you since you love it so much, why don't you just marry it? Uh okay, so Chanel is doing a little too much with the with the opinions. It's like, okay, baby, it's 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 too much. So honestly, I, I know we're jumping ahead, but I feel what Rebecca Glasscock was saying toward the end. Like, I get it. Like if I can send someone home, send this bitch home. She's doing too much. <laughs> like, bitch, your makeup. Stop. Don't give. I don't need no input. I, I'll take a little input. And I will say, Chanel did give input for the costumes, and then and then she did back off when she was when 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 um when uh Nina was like, no, I don't like that. But but also Rebecca ate these costumes. They're really good. Well, we, we're, that, we're gonna get there. We jump. I know. I. It's just. I know. I, I will know. say though. But to that point, is <laughs> this camera cut away? <laughs> when they talked about the costumes and the little stick figures Rebecca drew with everybody's costume, I was like, this looks insane. I was like, what the fuck? Drawing costumes is hard. Even some of the designers that I know who are really, really good designers can't draw costumes. True. I mean, if, True. if you want someone, by the way, if, if you want a person who will draw you your costume down two people who of the designers i know who do some of the best renderings domino couture mm-hmm. and i had one uh, I, domino did me one that was like so uh, like it was so and then um uh pinwheel 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 does some um like i think the most elaborate rendering i've ever gotten was from pinwheel really i i i i, I have it framed it was in my ba- it was it was in my um it was it was for the purple look that that they made me. I don't remember the my my my, my first pride look. It was like purple and like what, I was like I was I was like a tea set. Anyway, um, I don't remember. Oh, I remember. It, but I, I never saw the illustration though. It it was it was it was in the basement by uh hanging near the bathroom downstairs. Mm-hmm. Um, do you still have but, it up? Or did you, but, or did you, oh, oh the, the the thing that you threw away. 
Another thing that I, that I stomped on, shit on, and threw away. No, it's in storage with all. It's in storage with, all my, with most of my art. Like I don't even have. You know the, those that big picture of Jackie Beat and myself that I had in my living yeah. room. They're just in storage. I have this massive signed Jackie Beat picture that I've had for years, and it's just in my well in my well, storage. But when you buy a house in the neighborhood next to me, and you have more even more space. I own a home. Let's just I know make you can. What, you, why can't you sell that one of mine? I already, I already, I already have a house. You sell it and buy another uh, one. Uh, two, two. Wow, honey. This, okay, so first right, the drone. Two. Now the houses. This is the- okay. My drone was like four hundred dollars. <laughs> my drone cost oh, less me. than your. <laughs> okay, Monet, you're wearing more than my drone right now. You on your person? <laughs> I see. I see a little thing on your wrist. You could have bought a couple of drones. <laughs> Yeah, don't hide. No, don't don't try to keep. Don't try to take it off below the table. What we what? have footage. What? D- yeah, yeah, yeah. On the right hand, honey. Yeah, you could have bought a couple of drones with that, honey. And me and my family bought a house together. Me and my family. <laughs> Anyways, um, not this. Not Monet flaunting her wealth. <laughs> <laughs> the also, guy RuPaul Jacob, tries Jacob choreography like, with. Two. <laughs> yeah, I was like Jacob, keep <laughs> pipe down. Jacob, hey, 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 hey. <laughs> um, RuPaul doing the choreography with Angina. Imagine today. Imagine today. RuPaul and Ru come up. RuPaul gets silly to work from sometimes. Step, step. So, no, I can't sing that. What was that? Wait, who is that? Who? Oh, who is who sings that? Step, step. Side to oh, side. Oh yeah, yeah, no, no, you can't do that. Yeah, yeah, no, yeah, yeah, yeah. That's that's yeah, no, yeah, yeah. That's, yeah, no, no. <laughs> I, I thought I was doing the cha-cha slide, but I was... <laughs> oh, I love... Uh, Tammy, Tammy had this suggestion about the case. I'm like, Tammy, y'all don't know... I couldn't tell she meant, like, 60s... Which, probably now... I wrote Cam, Tammy, we're not doing no fucking superheroes, but she probably meant, like, a 60s kind of cape. Like a capelet. Capelet, right. Got it. Okay, well... Yeah, maybe, like, a or, 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 like where it comes in front of the shoulders. Yeah, which doesn't even fit with the vibe of the song, girl. No. I agree. I, I agree. And uh, there, there was a lot going on. And also, I heard that uh, Anjana said, because uh, Anjana was, uh, first of all, I thought Anjana's tuck looked nice. I don't think her tuck was bad. I've seen way worse tucks. And she was saying mammal toe, but I've heard that the penis version of a camel toe is a moose knuckle. Yeah, it's a moose knuckle. I, I think I think Anjana was trying to make fetch happen, and it didn't fetch. Drag her. <laughs> Have you ever met Anjana in person? Yeah, I met Anjana a couple of times. Anjana is the one who, anytime you see the girls going to that um, Louboutin warehouse sale, like I've been with Naomi and Plastique and Willem, uh, it's, it, everyone gets, everyone has found out about it because of Anjana. Anjana has some type of relationship with, with Louboutin and all the girls, bitch. Bob, you need to go one time. You could fit, you could fit this. Uh, I, I'm like a one size too big. It's very upsetting. So if you all, um, Anjana has a really cool TikTok series about her being a shopaholic and she is obsessed with shopping. Her, I don't know. I don't know her home looks like. I've never been inside of her home, but she has this one wall just full of bags and shoes on her TikTok. It's a really, really cool. Uh, on her TikTok, I'm gonna look that up. I, I didn't know that. Yeah, like a, a Confessions of a Shopaholic or something. And she, she loves. She, she has these like really rare pieces. She's like, oh, this is the. Balenciaga belt from the the 1999 runway. It's like stuff like that. It's really wild. Can I tell you? I'm be, I be so fucking ignorant out here. Like in in my worldview, in my mind, brands like Balenciaga came out like five years ago. I'm, I do not realize that Balenciaga was like a brand back in the 90s. That's crazy. well, I just, that that wasn't an actual. I don't know when Balenciaga came uh, out, but that was just a okay. But I think Balenciaga probably came out in like the 80s. Let me see Balenciaga. Bitch. When never, did it until it got popular? Right, out. whatever celebrities. Balenciaga was nineteen ninety. No, ni- uh, eight. Well, that can't be right. It says eighteen nineteen thirty seven. Nineteen thirty seven. Balenciaga started. Wow. Nineteen thirty seven. Work. So, honey, our our uh, grandparent. Our actually, that is way. But when was my grandma born? My grandma died in nineteen ninety six, and she was fifty four. So that means like in like the forties. The forties. And my mom was born in the 60s. My grandmother was born. Okay, my, grandmother. my grandmother. My is. I don't know when my grandmother was born. I don't know. I think the 40s. Well, how old is she? 70s. How old your grandma is? 70 something. Your grandma is 70? Yeah. I think. Oh, that's right. Your mom is very young. Your mom's in her 50s. So that's cr- I forgot, but that's crazy. Your mom's in her 50s. Mm hmm. Because we're. Yeah, because my mom's in her 60s. 
but like she just turned 60 like last year she turned 61 this year anyway um but girl one day it's gonna be like really crazy to have been born in the 80s one day it's gonna be like oh my god you were born in the 80s i feel about that y'all i'm like, I'm like the 80s Woof. girl one day someone's gonna be like you born when they're gonna get to a point where i'm gonna be like i was born in the 1900s and people are gonna be like that's what i don't know this for sure but i just have this feeling that i'm going to be way too old <laughs> like i don't know how old I, how long i'm gonna live but i know that i will like toward the end of my life i will be thinking to myself i should have died 20 years ago who is in your room andy andy not, the, not, the, podcast the, not, the, lo- not the looming shadow <laughs> what do you need this whole thing do you think you're gonna live too long ma um i think i will um all the old people in my in my family like are into the nineties. Wait, hold on one second. This colonizing ass nigga. What the fucking colonizing? I feel like one day I'm gonna cough and break a rib and be like, "Oh, I should be dead. <laughs> I should be dead." People in my family live old. Like everyone, everyone old is like nineties, nineties, nineties. I don't know why I feel the way because my family does not live old. My grandma, all my grandma, all my grandparents died in either sixties or fifties. All of them. Um, all don't them. say that. But also, all of my I have one. I only have why one. This? Uncle, why? <laughs> why the head performance? I I only have one uh, of my uncles and aunts. Only one of them has passed away. Only one. Okay. R.I.P. to my aunt Stephanie. She was pretty young too. She was in her like it was, she was she was she was actually way too young to have passed away. Anyway. Um. um so let's keep going through our uh our, I'm, 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 I don't even know where I'm in my notes yet because I oh they, they introduced Michelle Michelle Williams uh which no one ever says Grammy award winner Michelle Williams which is crazy I'd be like had she gra- won a Grammy by then yeah of course the girl Destiny Child already been disbanded by then in 2009 yes girl 2009 Destiny Child was no longer a thing Beyonce had already started her solo career oh shit yeah. I don't know that. Um, and so what I'm really intrigued by is when, when she comes in, you can see, you can see, uh, she says, yes, sir, to RuPaul, but then she doesn't want to offend. She goes, yes, sir. Yes, 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 <laughs> yes. <laughs> I thought she was going to correct herself to yes, ma'am, but she's like, yes, 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 yes. <laughs> Cause she didn't know what to say. She didn't know what to say. She goes, yes, sir. Yes, 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 well, yes, yes. Well, you know, there are certain queens that people call them he, that's you, RuPaul. Can't raise the kids, the queens that have traditional male names like we just I, everyone calls y'all he i also love michelle williams i love michelle williams's voice i love what yeah, michelle y'all. says uh i think that the number one thing you have to remember is be nice to each other in the girl group because i think sometimes people forget to be nice to every member of the Did girl group that? Which I'm adding a lot. Right. She goes, just be nice to each other. But it was giving because it's sometimes one person in the group can feel left out <laughs> and other. And I'm not saying any group in particular, but I am saying that it is possible to be a member of a girl group and feel like other members of the group aren't treating you nicely. Especially when the group That's- has other children. <laughs> that's, all, that's all I'm saying. <laughs> it is interesting when a group is called Destiny's Child, and it sounds like that's Tina's child because Tina is the mother. So it was Destina's child, and <laughs> Tina's child got the preferential treatment. I mean, I, I, I I've seen there's a, uh, Michelle has done a bunch of interviews over the past couple years, obviously, and she's always so funny and very irreverent, and not expecting that because you know she had like a whole church career like she put like a lot of gospel songs out when you think of an artist like that you're like oh i think i know what they're how they align themselves and what they think about the queer people especially well a lot of times they were the queer people and she'd be right down in there cracking the jokes making fun of herself and being very subversive it's very i I like michelle williams a lot i like michelle too um so when when rue comes out to the runway i gag when they show rue paul from the back or from the side shot you can just see all these cords on the ground i was like not i didn't notice that this literal big chunks of cords on the i was like y'all this is crazy it's season one bob what? but why do they keep showing the? but but it, it, it wasn't it wasn't season one of television <laughs> at this point we know <laughs> by this point we know not to include or, or put a carpet down over the cords or something <laughs> girl there it was giving it was giving of Stephen rivalry season one they, they were just trying to get it out just gonna just, just trying to get it done 
you know, to be fair, by our first season, that had already been a lot. But also, I want to say that no, we were not one. Of, we're not one of the first podcasts to do videos for our podcast. A lot of podcasts have done that way before us. We didn't say that we were. We but, said we said of Rue girls. We weren't the first Rue girl. We're, we're just we're just the longest lasting Rue podcast. We're not the first one by any chance, by any shot. I think we are. Who was before us? Um, I no. Uh, uh, the, uh, the WeHo girls used to have a podcast, like Morgan and um and uh mayhem and them used to have this podcast that we they would do did they yeah but i mean but we are the, we are we are officially the longest lasting and if we stop it becomes race chaser so we literally if we if we stop like three months or four months later it'll become race chaser so I mean, we, we literally this. cannot this has been a winning year for sipping motherfucking robbery okay baby we want a query we want a webby and baby we want a glad award so Real quick, shout out to all of y'all for listening and supporting us, bitch. Like, we want a goddamn GLAD award this year. That's crazy. So thank you for letting us know how great our podcast and it is and how bad Las Culturistas is. We're shouting out the Las Culturistas girls. <laughs> Bowen Yang, Matt Rogers, Monet and I challenge you to a literal fist fight. I will meet you in the parking lot. Oh, we will. We would. I saw Matt and um and, and Bowen at, at, the, at the Beyonce concert sitting behind me. And... Um, <laughs> You're ridiculous. I can't. Dude, what, what other what Shout other out Bowen did you see? Uh, uh, Mila Jam work. Matt Rogers, Bowen Yang. Um, I forget his name. The one from uh, Ellen's show. He was the one who 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 would do the food reviews on Ellen's show, and he has a podcast with Ricky Lake. Ki, 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 he's really cute, actually. Ki. Oh, um, um, uh, 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 I know who. K- skinny, K- skinny black guy. K- it's with a K. Is it Kevin? No. K- K- Kel. 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 No, it's not Kel. Cal. K- Cal? Ka- His name is Cal. The Q skinny. Cal- Callen. Callen. His name is Callen, Callen. Allen. The Q skinny black guy. Yes. Yeah. Yeah, 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 not me saying cute, and you were like, "Oh, skinny." I like more than just skinny, one No, but when you said that, I was like, "When you said that, I was like, you said this, you said the skinny guy who used to do the food reviews." I was like, "Oh, okay, yes, yeah, him." You know, no, but he is—he is very cute. He's very cute, Callan. If you're listening, <laughs> and Callan ate me on the seats. Callan was sitting on the stage. See those sick, those tickets because you're close on stage. They're not. They're not the good best seats, right? They're not the best seats because you have this side view, and then the big monitor is here. So when she's down here, you're not, you know, I, I don't think that's the best seats. I feel like I need to give a review on, like, a, like a tutorial on how to get the be- how to get the best out of your because you want to be in gr- Beehive A. If you, it, they're very very expensive, but Beehive A is the best seat in the house. The only downside is there is you can't sit down. There are no chairs in Beehive A, and I was wearing y'all saw my shoes, baby. Baby, 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 baby. I was regretting it immediately. Whenever I want to wear a country shoe, once you're in the crowd, no one can see your fucking shoes. <laughs> like it's the walk. The walk to the club is fierce. But once you're in the crowd, baby, no one can see you. Let's go to the performances. Do you know how much your subscriptions really cost? Okay, most Americans think they spend around eighty dollars a month on subscriptions, but it's actually closer to Monet. Are you ready for this? Two hundred dollars. It's all here. Yes, honey. And if you don't know exactly how much you're spending every month, then you need Rocket Money. Y'all have to check out Rocket Money, baby. They help you manage and cancel subscriptions you do not need, want, or. <laughs> If you like me, forget that you even have them. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, so they see what you're buying at the deli every night at 4 o'clock in the morning, Charles, and helps you lower your bills all in one place. Now, over 80% of people have subscriptions they've forgotten about, and chances are you are probably one of those, honey. You're not in the 20%. You're not that special. Like, you know, that streaming app you forgot that you bought, just watched that one show, or that, that free gaming trial that you never actually used. Rocket Money will quickly and easily find your subscriptions for you, and for any that you don't want to uh, pay for anymore, you just hit cancel, and Rocket Money will cancel it for you. It is really that easy. And let me tell y'all, for for all these subscriptions that are up in their their their, their coin dollars, and I didn't realize, Rocket Money lets you, they give you an alert they're like hey just so you know Baba Diva is going up from 11.99 to 6 to 16.99 and I was like oh 
Thank you. Rocket Money also helps you manage all your finances in one place, and it automatically categorizes your expenses, so you can easily track your budget in real time. Also, you get alerted if anything looks a little suspiciana. Over 3 million people have used Rocket Money, saving the average person up to $720 a year. Fierce. Stop wasting money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions and manage your money the easy way by going to rocketmoney.com slash rivalry. That's rocketmoney.com slash rivalry. Rocketmoney.com slash rivalry. R-I-V-A-L-R-Y. With the busy fall season just around the corner, you might be looking for some wholesome, convenient meals for jam-packed days. Factor, America's number one ready-to-eat meal kit can help you fuel up fast with chef-prepared, dietitian approved ready-to-eat meals delivered straight to your door. You will save time. You will eat well. You will stay on track with your healthy lifestyle. I genuinely love Factor. If you're too busy with your end-of-summer goals to cook, but you want to make sure you're eating well, well, with Factor, you can skip the extra trip to the grocery store and the chopping and the prepping and the, you know, some of these food meals, they'll, they'll send you food you have to cook. No, I'm not interested. In that. I want to do as little work as possible so you can get all the yeah, flavor. that and, is true. Well, everybody yeah. listening to the podcast know that. I don't cook. I don't cook. You, ca- you caught me. Hands up. I don't cook. But you can still get all the flavor and the nutritional quality that you need. Factor's fresh and never frozen meals are rated you in just two minutes. You can cook them in two minutes in your microwave, in your uh, in your uh, oven, or on your stove top. All you have to do is just uh, heat it up and enjoy and then get back to crushing your goals. Refresh your healthy habits without missing a beat. Choose from 34 plus weekly flavor packed dietitian approved meals ready to eat in two minutes. Level up with gourmet plus options prepared to perfection by chefs and ready to eat in record time. Treat yourself to upscale meals with premium ingredients like broccolini, leeks, truffle butter, okay Nicki Minaj, and asparagus. Too busy running around during the day to think about lunch? Baby, keep your energy up with lunch to go. Effortless, Wholesome meals like grain bowls and salad toppers that are ready to eat when you're on the go. Looking for calorie conscious options ahead of the busy season? Try delicious, dietitian approved, calorie smart meals with around or less than 550 calories per serving. Mm-hmm. Oh, I didn't know we we're doing our little uh, radio, radio, our late night radio voice. Let me give it a shot. Need an extra boost to support your wellness goals and feel your best for the rest of summer? Try Protein Plus meals with 30 grams of protein or more per serving. Round out your meals and replenish your snack supply with an assortment of 45 plus add ons, including breakfast items like your delicious apple cinnamon pancakes, bacon, and more. Or for an easy wellness boost, try refreshing beverage options like cold, fresh juice shakes and smoothies yeah challenge accepted monet try more late night soft than that i dare you uh, with factor you can rest assured you're making a sustainable choice we offset 100 percent of our delivery emissions source 100 percent renewable electricity and for our production our sites and offices and feature sustainably sourced seafood in our meals this august get factor and enjoy eating well without the hassle simply choose your meals and enjoy fresh flavor packed meals delivered ready to your door ready in just two minutes no prep no mess head to factormeals.com slash rivalry 50 and use the code rivalry 50 to get 50 percent off that's code rivalry 50 at factormeals.com slash rivalry 50 to get 50 percent off rebecca glasscock is is majestic bad like the bar she's bad like the barbie because she's stiff like the barbie this girl is like so stiff and awkward in her body but she looks amazing though she looks so good rebecca looks amazing isn't the word she's so beautiful she's gorgeous she looks great yeah she and every time and every time bb's on my screen i just think to myself this woman is so majestic like bb is so elegant and like just okay i love regal BB. and above it all i love bb a lot bb is one of her people i don't feel this thing you think for b in this season one i like bb in the season i'm not drinking the cooler like you are like that hard i'm like she's fine so far to me she's the to me she's the winner from the moment i from 15 years 16 years ago to now I still see when people walked out, I was like, she's she she's won drag race. There was a moment where I thought maybe Nina Flowers could win, but it was always BB for me. I have to say, just watching it, let's say I didn't know what if watching it, I would think that um Nina West Nina Flowers was the winner. Like to me, she seems like she's she's the winner to me. 
Well, spoiler alert. Oh, sorry, Nina or Chanel. I would, I would, if, 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 like how we do like normal seasons. I would Chanel could have gave her a run for her money. So like, who's who's winning the season? I would, I would say Chanel, and I would say second up, Nina. Chanel has my favorite quote of the episode. Yeah. I am amazed at myself. <laughs> Chanel is so good. Chanel is such good TV. Chanel, honestly, they're all really good, but Chanel is so good. The drama. I live. Chanel, Chanel looked right down the barrel of that lens and she said, I am amazed at myself. <laughs> we should, let, 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 let's try to pull a, our favorite quote from each episode going forward when we do watch it because that's my that's that is my my quote of the episode. I am I am amazed at myself. And I feel like I feel like it's going to always go to go to Chanel because she was she gave so many great quotes. Looking at this group overall, Chanel to her point did a this face chart made them all look like I think Chanel really the makeup, hair, and outfits really. This group was the most cohesive, and they looked the best to me. I'm obsessed. Well, we should go over RuPaul's look for for well because there was no there was no runway this episode. Oh yeah. So RuPaul RuPaul's wearing this like a uh, tinsel or uh, she wanted to look sort a of, lot. Uh, mylar. It's like it's like these mylar ribbons going down. I actually really, I really like this dress. She looks good. And again, I think RuPaul is the only queen wearing padding right now, which is wild. You think no? Nina Nina Flowers wearing padding. Maybe I can't really tell. She definitely because wearing the padding, padding hasn't the padding. Yeah. Oh yeah. Nina is Nina. Yeah. Nina definitely padded. It hasn't reached uh, Nina Bonina levels of padding yet. You know what I mean? Yeah. yeah that's not that's not the culture yet. Um, um, this hair, but yeah, good. I love I, I love Rue's look. Yeah, and this this cold blonde. I I try to wear a cold blonde. I, I can only wear cold blonde if it's a kitty cat. If it's like long hair, it looks so crazy. What do you mean me. cold blonde? Like that, like yellowy six thirteen. Yeah, yeah. I don't As like opposed that to a warmer me. blonde. I don't really wear. I don't really wear blonde at all. But I can wear. It. But you 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 used to wear it with the, with the Nini kitty cats that we used to wear. And a I lot. don't. I I put on a blonde kitty cat the other day. I was like, I hate how this looks on me. I hate it. I, I mean, I don't really wear I don't really wear kitty cats like that, like or blonde hair like that anymore. But I used to love a blonde kitty cat, or I used to have this I used to have this white bob that I was obsessed oh, with. You know the one. Baby, it, I, that white bob was giving me all the life in the world. White bob, it just just call it Thorgy. <laughs> Jesus Christ. Okay, first of all, Bob Thorgy could never be the bob, honey. <laughs> uh, honey, if there, if there's if there's a white Monet, who is it? A white Monet. Who's thicker than who's th- who's thicker than uh cold uh peanut butter? <laughs> I don't know who white woman would be. I don't know. Are there any thick white girls in, in the drag race? Man? Yeah, they are for drag sure. race drag. There are. Can y'all comment below who you think who you think is, is a white woman? This time this seems problematic. <laughs> oh, this is money. We've we we're we're already in the in the canceled. So let's just like Does this sound like pop rocks. You know when you hear like you put it in your mouth. Well, I was closing. I was closing my eyes, but then I opened my eyes and I saw what you were doing. And and because I see, I should have kept my eyes closed. Well, let me do it. Hold on, do it again. A little bit, a little bit, but then it sounds a little bit plasticky on on teeth too. Oh, God. You know what I mean? Yeah. Do this. Do do the do the Dolly Parton. No. D D D D D D D. Stumbled out of bed and I'm gonna get in and I'm gonna send the compliment. No, I think I think I think it's D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D D There it is, yeah. I think. I think. Oh, sorry, back. Oh, so okay, so so the groups are called uh Serving Fish, which there's a lot of controversy around uh the name the uh that that name but the, it's nina flowers on channel rebecca glasscock chanel and they are doing great they look stunning there i love the wigs i love the outfits rebecca ate these outfits she did uh, chanel ate this makeup she did um uh, uh nina ate this hair like this is this group looks they so, look rebecca really good. looks like a the rebecca and chanel look like uh like they're straight up from the 80s. Yeah. Like drag queen. If someone said this is a picture of a drag queen from the 80s, I believe it. Chanel is stunning. Chanel is such a stunning queen. And also, those piercing eyes, blue eyes, which I found out the other day is because of a recessive gene. I did not, I thought that people, just, the eyes just came like that. I didn't realize that blue met, was recessive. Did you know that? Well, hey, did you know that all, all of whiteness is recessive genes? <laughs> like everything that's like super white, blonde hair, blue eyes, fair skin, freckles, red hair. Is you are just one big recess, <laughs> like bitch. If you have all the white genes, you're essentially a caveman. They're broken, you, girl. You, They're just unevolved. Have, 
<laughs> truly, truly. <laughs> um, but honestly, all of them. Actually, I'm looking at each and every one of them. Nina, Angina, all of them look so stunning. Yeah, Angina each and great. every one of them. They look absolutely. They do beautiful. I, 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 I Then let's talk about DDD because baby, DDD. This group that was is their name. A, yeah, d uh, drag dancing divas or, or the the dancing drag divas or something like that. Got it. This group looks <laughs> crazy. They do. First of all, why is um, your homegirl, the winner, wearing a belt as a panty? It looks crazy. Like it's obviously that's that, that's that's your homegirl, Tammy Brown. Put her in that, <laughs> honey. She put the African cherry in a in 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 a, in, a, in, a, in, a, in a sling. That looks wild. <laughs> these, I don't know who's in charge of wigs. I think BB. These wigs just came out of the bag, <laughs> got shaken a little bit, and slapped on their heads. They're like they, these girls look great. Also, Tammy Brown's nip slipping the whole episode. Like, girl, you made these outfits. I know. At least yours should be good. Oh, maybe she put the love into everyone. Well, she didn't put the love into everyone else's. Um, yeah, mess, mess. Uh, yeah, this this they they were all over the place. They, they were going, uh, everyone's going left. Akasha's going right. Everyone's going up. Tammy Brown's going down. <laughs> like it is just a disaster. It's terrible. But also, if you were in this situation, you would obviously advocate to do costumes, right? Um, I would either want to do choreography or costumes. Yeah, you're you're really good. By the way, I saw this. I saw this uh, comment online today that I was like. I I was like, excuse me. What? So, so um, you know how the Drag Race girls are ranking, ranking all the um the queens, yes. right? So I, so uh, Silky put me really low in the oh. in the ranking. She put me at, like number seven, oh. and everyone and everyone's like, Bob, like, what are you gonna like? Oh my god, you should respond. Which I, I was like, whatever, it, who who cares? But then so I, I I have to find the comment because it was so funny the way that like someone responded because someone said um bob at seven is crazy and then uh as so bob at seven is wild and then silky said how so now people are like are debating back and forth in the comments about whether or not i deserve to be in seven but the funniest comment is this because someone said someone said um i get you prefer a more well-rounded queen than bob but she's the funniest queen ever and then someone else said I can only imagine you're referencing. So then someone else is like, uh, "Well, she can't lip sync or dance anymore." Damn. And she isn't very fashion focused. Like Monet is very versatile and has all those traits, but she's not as funny as Bob. And then this other person said, "I can only imagine you're referencing Bob's fashion on season eight. She's a hundred times better now, and she wouldn't be able to lip sync or dance. She's thirty-seven. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's an early 20 something year old because for in my early 20s if you were older than 30 you might as well have been dead like you can't do shit that's the one that got i can only imagine you're referencing her boss fans she's 100 times better now she wouldn't be able to lip sync or dance anymore she's 37 <laughs> like <laughs> yo, how yo how I, mean, I am 37 but how old do you i can dance <laughs> i was just last year i was on stage dancing doing the work or what beyonce is 42 <laughs> that was a my 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 <laughs> um but that is so funny to me that, that, that they thought at th that they said at 37 i'm just over here crickety and crunch i mean i'm a little crickety and a little crunchy but i can still dance <laughs> But I also get that I don't dance very often. Some of y'all don't know that I can dance because I, I don't really focus on dancing. I feel like whenever I dance, I'm like, oh, wow, you can dance. I'm like, yeah, yeah. I danced a little bit on Drag Race, like a little bit. I mean, people still expect me to do splits. Things I'm not doing anymore are splits. I'm not doing a split anymore. I'm not. I'm not. Can you, can, have you tried? Yeah, I still can, but I'm not interested in it. Why? Because I'm not interested. It. Latrice still does them. Yeah, Kenny okay. Davenport still does them. Good for Latrice. Good for Kenny Davenport. They just, they're just more dedicated to their craft than you. Is that what you're saying? Yes, 100%. I think Alyssa stopped doing splits too. Did she? I mean, just, I, think, I was on Christmas tour with sure. her what two years ago, and she was still t um tongue tongue popping the halls and splitting. Oh, she was splitting all work. Maybe I was wrong. Have you seen her? Have you ever heard Alyssa tongue pop the halls? I, you think I turned gay yesterday? I can't. Oh. I cannot with that song. That when the first time I heard Alyssa do that, I was like, "This is insane!" Tongue pop the halls. <laughs> 
<laughs> what? I mean, it's no, it's no Decca Ho, She Gets Mouthy, which, by the way, is a is is a lyrical masterpiece. That Decca Ho. Monet help you write. And we've had this debate many times in this podcast. And every time you do do that, that fucking face. And I have my two lines in there that I help you do. What were your well, what were your you lines? Know, so d- hold on, before we get there, do you admit that we, what was were we not up in your apartment at nine five six Amsterdam all night long when you were writing that, and I and I contributed to it? Do you deny that? I don't remember. But what are your lines? What, what were your lines? I'm not doing this. What were your lines? I'm not doing this today. See, you're making it up. I'm Say you the line. You, you you know the two lines. What were the two lines? I don't remember which ones exactly, but we had a discussion. It was so but, long you, ago. but you just know. But you just know it was two of them. <laughs> it was two. I'm about to do the lyrics and deck a hoe <laughs> if she gets mouthy. mouthy. Fa la 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 la. Okay, Honestly, no wait, sorry. Real quick, really no shade. Talking about dancing queens. I it would be on set. I love Shangela. <laughs> I love Shangela. <laughs> All right. Let's wait, 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 no. Yeah. I, what do you say? What, what's the yeah, shame? What are you gonna say? Uh, gonna say? Oh, Edit this part out. <laughs> what's the shade? A recent video of her play, and Shangela is the Beyonce Queen. She was trying to do the the blue ivy the get loose, uh, loose. And just it was it, it was it was giving 37. You know what I mean? Monet, she's she's 41. <laughs> she can't dance anymore. She's 41. <laughs> I you expect her to dance? She's in I her forties. It was just. I'm gonna be in my forties in three years. Oh, we're gonna my. throw you a big four year birthday bash. And you know what? To that little person, I'm gonna. I'm the the way I'm going to dance and lip sync. Da- I'm gonna give y'all a Barracuda style Bob the Drag Queen 2012 Bob the Drag Queen show, honey. I went and did um Keisha Car show, <laughs> baby. When I tell you, I was like, ooh. ooh, ooh, ooh. <laughs> a bitch is tired. Get, honey, T I red. I was up there, but also I had never, I had never, I never used to do those shows in, in course. I was corseted down and, and barring a pair of Thorgy shoes, uh, which were a little too small. Wait, wait, I didn't wait, have, wait. I, my, oh. my heels were locked up in the rehearsal hall. Got it. And I, I decided on a whim to go do, to, to go do Keisha's Got show. It. And Thorgy lived around the corner, so I went and got her shoes. Got it. Anyway. Okay, yeah, we gotta get back to the show. Um, yeah, Tammy is a mess. I mean, okay, so out of Group One, I don't think anyone was bad in Group. One. If, if I had to choose the worst in Group One, as someone who didn't sh- wasn't as good, it was Nina, but she had immunity. Which I forgot to say this last week. Bring back immunity. I like immunity. It adds another layer to the competition and like strategy. Bring back immunity. I miss it. That could be fun. Immunity does make to make reality TV shows wild. People get crazy yeah. when, they, when, when there's when there's immunity on the board on the table. And I just said, um, Tammy was absolutely the, the worst. And I guess Akash and Tammy, I agree. Akash and Tammy were the worst. Too. I agree. Yeah. 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 So when it comes to the judging, first of all, who should go home and why on the second episode is unhinged. <laughs> who should go home and why on episode two is unhinged. I love it though. Ru- RuPaul was just throwing grenades and letting people catch them and just it's acting wild. And I love first of all, the first two girls like send me home. Me. I know. It should be me. But also she only has one group. Oh, because they were the ones that wouldn't change you going home. But uh, yeah, she, she was like, You're not she like, by the way, no one's going home, but who should go home? <laughs> I just want to be just to be clear, no one here is going home. You're all safe. But if I could send someone home. Just for just just for drama and giggles, who should we um you know they say it's, it's all shits and giggles so someone giggles and shits, you know what I mean? Um, <laughs> I never heard that, but that's funny. So uh, the first two girls, Nina Nina Flowers and I'm like, send me home. And then Chanel was like, bitch, send Nina home. And then Rebecca was like, I this is so hard. I don't want to. Chanel. <laughs> she pulled uh, uh, milk before Kenny Davenport ever did it. The way the door season one is open, the way these girls it's good TV. have set their set the precedent. It's good TV, honey. It's really good. And also at the end, at the end, we're gonna have to review the first ever Rue Girl music video. I'm the shit, BB's Harbinay. We'll do a Patreon exclusive where we, where we review I'm the shit. I don't know. Maybe we'll have BB on. I did not know she had a, a music video called I'm the shit. I'm the shit. I'm the one. Get me hot. Turn me on. <laughs> I'm the shit, without a doubt. I'm the one. Do you feel me now? The way I have been a BB Zaharbonne stand for such a long time. We love that. We stand. We love that. Uh, um, but, so they, it, it comes down to oh, 
Oh, oh, oh. Oh, wait. I'm not done with, I'm not done with the judging. Yeah, yeah. Also, um, I remember that, too. I wrote something down, too. First, first of all, Rebecca is just such... Rebecca Glasscock is such good TV without trying. I feel like Chanel is good TV, and she's trying. She's like, I don't know how to answer that for you. And Paul's like, bitch, just answer the question. I want you to be honest. And Rebecca is not trying to be good TV. She's just brilliant TV. She's so good at TV without even... She's perfect for... She's made for reality TV, I feel. Mm-hmm. I love that. What did you write down? I wrote down uh, Michelle's. Um, well, first of all, as soon as they're critiquing, Akasha is mad from the rip. Akasha just standing up there like. Well, well, they keep being. They're so harsh to her. They, this is true. So she's she's anticipating that. But then Michelle calls her. She said, I don't know. I don't like it. It's just giving like messy man. I was like. this. Is, that, that is a quote that will go down in Drag Race history. I just saw a messy man is the quote. I just. <laughs> That is that, that is a quote that has gone down in Drag Race history. I just see I just see a messy man. Messy. I was like, damn, not a messy man. Sit, imagine sitting there in full drag, eyebrows glued, wig, brows, everything. And someone says you, you you look like a messy man. Oh my god, girl. Also, Tammy is so defensive. Tammy is like, Tammy's like, I don't even like this kind of fucking shitty ass music. I, know. I would never, I would never perform to a piece of shit. Like this, yeah. She's a these are not the type of songs like this. History and Michelle. I was like, I don't do shit like this. <laughs> it was very wild. Oh like, my god, work. T- Tammy, it do it do take nerve. And Tammy is a, she got a whole bag. Tammy of it. is full of she, it. She she just have a, a, a satchel of nerve every time she's just, so no. So Angina wins the challenge and she wins a she wins some chocolate. It's chocolate. Is the season one dog? Uh, imagine grass winning fruit. chocolate. Grass fruits. This grassroots. Imagine winning chocolate and then watching a girl win ten thousand dollars <laughs> for uh for a mini challenge <laughs> in a couple of years. It's not that much for mini. It's only twenty five hundred. You're getting wild. Only. <laughs> oh God. Only. Ooh, you know how many? You know how many drones I could buy with twenty five hundred dollars? <laughs> five. <laughs> Five, honey. I could film y'all niggas from every angle. Actually, it would be six. I need to buy multiple drones. For what? Bob, you I have, have no plan things. on these drones. You're gonna have drones to do what? Bitch, are you are you are you fucking a spider spider man away from home? You you're gonna have a little drone attack? Jacob says this is my my first step to become the green goblin. Girl, you talking about some talking about some Elon. Yeah, that's gonna be you. Elon, who's Elon? That that bit I tell you, that's so funny. When you said Elon Musk sounds like a super villain, like someone is gonna storm oh, yeah. a radio grab. Elon, <laughs> Elon. <laughs> <sighs> yes, you don't need multiple drones. You don't even. This you gotta pick up this ha- this hobby for like six months, and then you're not gonna use drones ever again. Money droning is who I am at my core. <laughs> Bob, um, this is the order: drone, drone pilot, comedian. In that order, first, I'm changing my name from Bob, Bob the drone pilot. <laughs> anyway, they do the lip sync, and Tammy does not know a single word. She said that she didn't know the song like that. I'm like, bitch, you don't know the song at all. Tammy did not say a single word of this fucking song. And what is what is even funnier to me is everyone, like Michelle, Rue, everyone, just not in looking at Tammy at all. Just just being looking looking at Akasha like. And Tammy's well, over here doing this. He's just like, I mean, Tammy's giving nothing. What what are they gonna look at? It's giving do something, Charlie. I mean, the doors these girls have opened. <sighs> Tammy is literally giving nothing. Tammy's like, I decided I ain't do. I'm not gonna lip sync the song. Yeah. Why? Yeah. I don't think that Tammy has the constitution for competition. Yeah, that's not her thing. Did Tammy? Oh, she she went back for All Stars one. She did go back. Her and Latrice. No, no. she was Latrice's partner. No, she was. Well, Nina, wait, Manila. It was Manila and Latrice, girl. No, oh no, it was, it was uh, her and um and 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 uh, Nina. Yes. Put your little fucking, fucking crunchy fucking two dollar nails down. <laughs> you would have, you would you would have worked through that read. You would have worked. You would have sent your, 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 Maybe those videos of two kids be like, he can't even cook a uh, a grilled cheese. Yes, that shit is very funny. That the way that is me and you as kids. <laughs> this nigga can't even cook a, a grilled cheese sandwich. <laughs> this nigga gonna 
asked me how to cook a grilled cheese. <laughs> uh, uh, fuck a uh, grilled cheese. <laughs> and I guess Michelle is Michelle is really uh, Akasha. The, the energy, and again, I think Akasha's doing a great job. But Michelle is crying. I don't think anyone's ever cried from a lip sync. On the show, after. no, that's not true. That's not true. Um, uh, uh, oh, oh, this, uh, this guy, uh, uh, uh Jeff, Jeff, Jeff Goldblum, cried during a lip sync. For who? Who was that? I don't remember who it was, but he cried during. A, it, no, it, it was Jackie Cox, and doing um uh uh. So I put my hands up. The, Jackie Cox versus Widow Von Du, Party in the USA, I believe. Oh, because of Jackie's right. Oh, I, I don't. I'm. I might. I might be right about this, but I, I don't know if I am. But I know it was Jeff Goldblum, and I think it was part of the USA. Uh, the way that I am, the fucking uh, drag Wikipedia. That was very you in Alaska. I can't ask me. Give me another one. Give me another trivia. Give me another one, Monet. Come on, give me another one. Um, ask me one. Um, who? I'm gonna be wrong. I'm gonna. I'm gonna. I'm gonna flop. I, I, I gotta stop while I'm ahead. <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm stopping my pop a blood vessel trying to think of the drag race shit. Well, I remember. I mean, okay, I forgot. That, I did forget that Calvin Klein was a uh, guest judge on Mark Jacobs. Calvin Mark Klein. Jacobs. Mark Jacobs. I forgot that Mark Jacobs was, was a guest judge on my season of Drag Race for the uh, for the episode. But I remember the lip sync song on that episode was it was Todrick Hall and Mark Jacobs were the split with guest judges, and it was Derek Berry versus um, Derek Berry versus. Robbie Turner and the song was um Icona Pop. I get this feeling on a summer day I love when you were gone. Well, that's your season. It, yeah. Everyone I, remembers their season. I have a I have a trivia question for you. Okay, wait. Okay, if you remember if you remember everything from their season from my seasons. Yeah, from your season from season ten. Uh-huh. Who sent when? Okay, when the vixen was lip syncing against Monique. What was the song? Since you know everything, um, you got Carly Jepsen, cut to the feeling, because they, because um, uh, Monique tried to cut that fucking raggedy ass skirt off of herself. And who was the guest judge? The guest judge that episode. Yeah, I, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> who was it? I don't remember. <laughs> I don't remember at all. <laughs> that was the mermaid. That was the mermaid episode. The mermaid judge. Uh, yeah, yeah. And Monique tried to curl the crunchy cartwheel. Girl, that cartwheel. But the cartwheel's got better. I've seen her do cartwheel since then. They've gotten better. <laughs> uh, but so needless to say, RuPaul says, I don't have to make the decision because this girl made it herself. Oh, well, we, we didn't say who won. Anjana won the challenge. Anjana, oh, wait, I did, did. I did say that. Never mind. Yeah. And then um, and then Tammy gets eliminated and she does her Tammy and all the way out of the Okay, sugar plum puss. I'll see you on the outside next week. Boop, bloop, 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 bloop. And she. And goodbye to the African cherry and the Puerto Rican coconut and the. <laughs> and the. <laughs> Jade Sotomayor what are is so you? cute. Very. Yeah. I want to see the tucking dick thing everyone's talking about. What tucking dick thing? Like alluding to that she may be well endowed because she can't, it's going to be hard for you to talk all of that. It, 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 it's, it's, it's down the line. It's, it, it's, it, there's not that many episodes this season. So it's only eight episodes. So I think it's probably a few episodes. But also, I mean, oh my God, your hands looks like a crown. It looks like uh, the crown that the that the woman has in Thor. Thor um, is it Ragnarok? Yeah, Ragnarok. Where she makes. Mm-hmm. Okay. Yeah, you look like her. You don't look like her, but it looks like a crown she would have. <laughs> Thank you. Um, but it has. It, it was one of my favorite lines in Drag Race history, which is when RuPaul goes. They keep talking about, <laughs> talking about Jay's Tuck and RuPaul goes. There's too many motherfucking snakes on this motherfucking. <laughs> Hold on one second. Free, I'm doing the podcast right now. I'm talking to Monet. Oh, hey. How's it going? I'm Free. great. You're on the podcast. Where, bitch, where, where my dress is at? Well, Monet, said, Monet said where her dress is. You don't have anything to say besides, free besides where my dress is. You don't have to say, hey, hey, old friend. You don't have none of that, Monet? Oh, bitch. Can I say, I'm going to send you some text receipts right now, Bob. Thank you. Yeah, because Monet loves to spread allegations. Thank you, Free. All right. I'll, I'll, I'll call you. We're almost done. I'll call you back. And I'll clear your name. Send the text. I will clear your name, honey. Yeah. All right, bye. Also, Caldwell, can you go can we go back and can you talk about the I don't think we can handle this moment? Oh, I I love this moment. So when RuPaul uh invites Michelle Williams in, she goes, Michelle, can you handle this? And Michelle goes, RuPaul, I do believe that well, I you know, I think this is something that I could probably do. And, and RuPaul was like, you, but you're supposed to say I don't, I don't think, think you can Yeah, I did notice that. 
I didn't know that. But Michelle was like, I'm not singing that shit. I'm not I'm you, I'm not doing no motherfucking. I'm here to promote myself, not motherfucking. <laughs> yeah. Um also, so uh free wanted me to say um uh for you got a text on July 18th that said, "Hey girl, you still want those dresses? I can get started on Monday the 24th." And you never responded. So now we have we have uh free's name cleared. Oh, I didn't let me see. Let me see. Because you know, free, free, free likes to doctor text messages. Uh, yeah. Monet, you, you, if you, the fact that you accuse everyone of doctoring the stuff, bitch, I, I'm starting to think it's you. You're the common denominator. <laughs> I'm starting to think it might, it might, my, 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 might be you. Well, um, I'm doing this show. So, Monet, that, hi, go ahead. Sorry. What show? What show? I, what show I, you doing I'm now? talking about it because I can't talk about it. That, see, I, I, I stopped. I, I can't talk about it. I can't talk about you it. Know, I, I'm gonna find some drone footage over your over your house, and I'll get all the scoop, honey. <laughs> I could spy on people. I will not, but I could. That's my first inclination. Oh, I can spy on people now. Well, I flew the drone to my friend's window, a half a mile from my home. That's crazy. Like how? What if you get stuck in like telephone cords or something? There are sensors on. There's sensors. There, I don't think there are there are telephone cords in in, in L.A. Or are they? There I are. haven't seen a, like a telephone. There pole are. We have telephone poles. There was some. They probably are. There were shoes hanging in uh, on one in my neighborhood. Oh no, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're yeah. right. Um, but so I th- there are sensors on the drone, and I just and it, so I had my friend. I could see his house in my house. I had him like just flash his lights, and I just drove the drone to his house. Stay, I'm going to show you the uh, the footage on Zoom after this. It's kind of crazy. I, I I just see Bob flying this fucking drone and landing it in a power plant, and the entire valley loses their power. And they're going to trace it back to you, and you're going to be fined a million dollars. I don't think that's how that works. Okay. You think a, a drone can take down an entire... Uh, by the way, my, my, my drone is the size of this phone case. <laughs> Bitch. Oh, it's, it's a small one like that? <laughs> yes. How big do you think my drone is? It's it not, like, I'm not flying a car. I thought it was like like a big one, like like one of the big ones. No, you need like a... You need like to like register those with like the FAA. That's what I was saying. It's this big, Mona. It's the size. Oh. Of, it's like the size of like a, a, a like a huge phone, basically. Oh, I like didn't if know you that. glue three phones together, drone. no. I was, I was one of those things that take off like. <laughs> that's what I thought. You know nothing about drone culture. Like, those <laughs> people who don't drone, people who don't drone, just don't get it. Oh you know God. what I mean? You guys don't because you don't. You wouldn't be able to drone. It, it takes a lot of. Training. Which I'm gonna drone time. you out, drown you out right now. This season is very fun. I can't wait to watch the rest of it. All right. See you all next episode. Bye. What did I just have a stroke? What did I just say? <laughs> I meant to say see you all next episode. I don't know what the hell just happened. All right, I'm gonna send you a Zoom because I want you to. Oh, this is my drone. Her name is Ariana Drone Day. Oh wow, yeah, that's small. Okay, I will. Should I do a Patreon uh, exclusive about my drone footage? Yeah, I think people will. We should do an episode where all your footage is captured with a drone. <laughs> <laughs> well, they can only do like thirty minutes at a time, so we'd have to like stop down. You can just sit it down. <laughs> oh my god, should we do an episode where it's I'm filmed from my drone? Oh, oh, on the live show in San Francisco, we should have the drone in the audience. That, that sounds... would be fierce. Oh my god, people are gonna want to see my. Oh, people that's are... too far. Okay. <laughs> well, Jacob tried to drone in the living room. I was like, girl, but I still might do it anyway. I have to, I have to okay, go. I just to clarify. I said. Can we? I asked a question. I know nothing about drones. I didn't say we should. Yeah, you know I nothing about question. drones. You could never <laughs> be a drone try pilot. Setting it up. Go right Jacob, I need to say something. I'm li- I'm leaving you for Ariana Drone Day. <laughs> All right, I have to I have to go pee. Monet, stick around. I'm going to see you this Zoom. Okay. Okay.